Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you an Excel spreadsheet that I've developed to track my options portfolio. This Excel spreadsheet uses Think or Swim Real-Time Data, or RTD, to receive live prices. So when you open the spreadsheet during market hours, your options portfolio is updated with live prices and will change continuously as the market moves, like how you see in my current spreadsheet. If you're new to Think or Swim, be sure to check out my earlier step-by-step -step video on how to set up Think or Swim RTD correctly. I have left a link to the video down in the description below. You might be wondering why do I need to go through the trouble of creating an Excel spreadsheet to track my options position when most of the broker platforms already have an open position summary in the platform. So one of the main reasons is because whenever you close part of a position, or roll over a trade to repair your position, the P&L you see in your broker platform only shows the P&L of the current open positions and not the total P&L of all the positions that you have taken for this particular trade. This is actually quite painful because if you really want to know the actual P&L of the entire trade, you will have to do the calculations manually back end. And by the time you are done with your calculations, the price would have shifted and you might have missed an opportunity to close the trade for a profit. So with this particular options portfolio spreadsheet, you will be able to clearly see what is the actual live total P&L of all the positions you have entered for a particular trade, even when you have closed or repaired part of the trade. And the other reason is also because I like to keep a journal of my trades so that I can look back to remind myself what I have done right or wrong, and I can learn from my mistakes. In this spreadsheet, I also keep track of my trading commissions so that I know exactly how much I'm spending on commissions and I can use this to negotiate lower trading commissions with my broker. So I hope you'll find today's video useful. As usual, I have left a link down in the description below so if you're interested, you can always download this template for free. So there are a few sections in this spreadsheet. The first section here from column A to F shows the general information of the strategy. The second section here, column G to M, is the mark to market, or the live prices and Greeks of your options trade. The third section, column N to S, contains the details of your trade entry. The next section, column T to Y, will be the information on your trade exit, and also the P&L of all your closed positions. The last section, column Z, will be the total P&L of the entire trade. To make things easy, I've automated as much of the spreadsheet as possible, and only those cells highlighted in light orange are cells that requires your manual inputs. So in this example, I have a four-legged iron condor strategy. Column B and C are just the price information of the underlying stock. So just enter the ticker symbol in column B and the live prices of the underlying will be shown automatically in column C. So having the live underlying price here in this spreadsheet is also useful so that I don't have to switch back and forth between the Think or Swim platform. Column C actually has an if-else conditional formula, which I will explain in a bit. But base case, it is reading this RTD formula here to pull the prices. Column D is where you input the ticker of the option chain. If you do not know how to extract the ticker of a particular option chain, be sure to check out my earlier step-by-step -step video on how to set up Think or Swim RTD. Column E is basically the number of contracts you have entered for the trade. A positive integer means that you are buying to open the trade, and a negative sign means that you are selling the option to open the trade. So for this iron condor strategy, I'm selling a call at the $413 strike, so the quantity is minus one, and buying a call at the highest strike of 416, so the quantity is plus one. Likewise, for the put side of the trade, I'm selling the put at the 373 strike, so the quantity is minus one, and buying a lower put at the $370 strike, so the quantity is plus one. 
Column F represents the number of shares in a contract. So for US options contract, it is 100 shares per contract. Moving on to the next section, Column G to M is the mark to market or live prices of your option chain. Column G is the live mark price of the option which is put using Think or Swim RTD formula. So the mark price is the calculated reference price of the option based on the current price of the underlying. The mark price is actually not the same as last done. So the reason why I don't look at the last done price is because some of the option chains can be very illiquid when they are deep in or out of the money. So the mark price gives me a better sense of the fair value of the option. So when I want to enter or exit a trade, I will use the mark price as a starting price point and slowly adjust my price level from this starting reference price until my order is filled. Similarly, there is also a conditional if-else formula here. One thing you will notice is that I have automated the spreadsheet in such a way that most of the formulas will make reference to column T to determine whether the particular option leg has been closed. So if the option leg has been closed, it will no longer pull any live prices. And I intentionally set this up to prevent any confusion, especially if you have many trades going on at the same time. So if you look at the mark price formula for this particular option leg, if cell T3 is empty, which means that the trade is still open because you have not input the closing date, it will continue to pull live prices from RTD. And if you put in a closing date for cell T3, it will stop pulling live prices. So if I try putting in a closing date in cell T3, you will see that the mark price is now empty. And if I manage to close all the positions for this particular trade, and I input all the closing dates in column T, you will realize that column C, which was originally showing the live prices of the underlying, will also stop pulling data from RTD as well. If you go back to the conditional formula in column C, as long as there are still live mark prices showing in any of the legs, it means that I still have an open position in my trade and it will continue to draw live prices for the underlying stock in column C. However, if all the legs are closed, all the mark prices will be gone and the sum will be zero and therefore the else part of the condition will kick in and you will stop pulling the underlying prices from RTD. So moving on to column H, it is basically calculating the live P&L of the particular option leg. It is taking the difference between the entry price and the current live mark price and multiplying them by the number of contracts. Similarly, there is also a conditional formula here. If cell T3 is empty, which means that the trade is not closed yet, it will continue to calculate the live P&L for this open options leg. If you have input the closing date in column T, you will stop calculating the live P&L. Column I will be the sum of the total live P&L of your current open positions. So let's say I already closed two out of the four positions. Column I is now showing the sum of the live P&L of the remaining two open positions I have. Column J and K are just the live Greeks for each option leg. For my option strategy, I'm more focused on tracking the delta and the theta. So if you want to add two more columns for the gamma and the vega, you can always just insert a new column. So same thing, if the position is closed, column J and K will stop pulling the live delta and theta from RTD. Column L and M are just for me to keep track of the total delta and theta for my current open positions for this particular trade. So if you want to add gamma and vega, you can always insert another column. Moving on to the entry section, this section is pretty straightforward. In column N, just enter the date you open the position. Column O is the price per contract of the trade you have entered. Column P automatically calculates the total net entry price for the trade based on the number of contracts. Column Q is how much the broker blocks your capital for this particular trade. 
and column R is the max loss for the trade. Both column Q and R are manual inputs. This is something I track personally to see if the trade I'm going to enter has a good risk to reward ratio. Right before you submit the order entry for Think or Swim, it will actually tell you how much Think or Swim is going to block your capital for and what's the max loss for the trade. So you can just record them here. Column S is just the commissions to enter the trade. So if you have entered all four legs together and it's just one lump sum commission, you can just enter it in any of the rows. Moving on to the exit section, this section is also very straightforward. Like I've mentioned earlier, column T is where you input the date you close the option leg. And once this column is populated, it will stop pulling live prices for some of the other columns because this particular option leg has closed. Column U is the price per contract at which you exited the option leg. Column V is the formula cell that calculates the net exit price of the entire trade. Column W is the commissions to exit the trade. Column X shows the P&L only for those positions that have closed, basically your realized profit or loss for that particular option leg. So if you look at the formula, if cell T3 is empty, which means that the trade is still open, this cell will be empty. Otherwise, it will calculate the P&L of this option leg using the difference between the entry and exit prices multiplied by the number of contracts. Do note that this closed P&L doesn't include the cost of trading commissions. Column Y is basically just the sum of the P&L of your closed option legs. The last column will be the total P&L. So if you look at the formula, this is the sum of the P&L of the positions you have closed in column Y plus the live P&L of the existing open positions in column I minus off the commissions for both the entry and exit in column S and W. So during market hours, you get to see the live total P&L of the entire trade itself. So the next question you might ask is, what if I closed one of the legs and added a new leg to repair the trade. So for example, I closed this particular $413 strike short call and sold another short call of a higher strike price. So what I'll do here is just insert another new row, copy and paste this here, change the ticker to a higher strike price, let's say it's a strike of 414, change the entry date and price, Let's say I sold the call for $8. Add the cost of the commission to open this new leg. Let's say it's 55 cents. And I will need to close the existing short call. Let's say I close it for $8.20. Enter the commissions to close this leg. And now you will see the P&L for the closed trade in column X and Y. Column Z will show the P&L that includes your current open positions plus the P&L of the trade that you just closed. One thing to note is that you need to be careful when inserting new rows because some of the cells use a sum formula across multiple rows like the ones in column I. I would definitely recommend that you insert rows in between rather than at the bottom so that the formulas can still sum them correctly. If you insert rows right at the bottom, the formulas may not sum correctly. So just be careful when you insert new rows in this spreadsheet. And to make things easy, I have also created a template tab for the strategies that have 1, 2, and 4 option legs. So anytime you want to open a new position, you can just copy from the template tab and paste it in the open tab. All the formulas will be there but you will need to update the cells highlighted in light orange. And I normally create monthly tabs as well. So let's say I closed this entire bull call spread today. I will update all the exit dates and prices, cut these two rows, and paste it in the March tab because I closed this trade in March. So this way, your open tab only shows those open positions 
and the different monthly tabs would have a journal of all your historical trades. So that's it for this live options portfolio tracker. As usual, you can always download this template for free using the link in the description below. If you have found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a like. You can also subscribe to my channel as I post videos like this every Sunday and sometimes on Thursdays as well. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.